Let's now shift our attention to what is happening in the state of Israel, where the streets are now full of protesters who are standing up against the controversial proposed judicial reforms that actually strengthens the hand of the executive against the judiciary. The demonstrations that are being held have been described as the day of disruption. In an expected move, there was trouble on the streets of Tel Aviv. The Israeli police resorted to firing stun grenades at these protesters who had come out onto the streets. The mounted police units were on the horseback and they tried to stop the demonstrators and at least about nine people, we're given to understand, have been arrested for breaching the barricades in Tel Aviv. I born in Israel, I fought for 30 years in this country to save this country. Now I'm fighting against the dictatorship It's going to happen. I want that it happen. I want that it happen. Now, there is expected to be more trouble on the streets of the state of Israel and also the controversial interior minister, Ben Gavir Itamar, has said that he will not allow the protesters who he terms as anarchists to block the roads in Tel Aviv. Now in January this year, the nationalist ultra-religious coalition government that has now come into existence in Tel Aviv had proposed some very controversial judicial changes. And since then, the protests have rocked the country every single day. But despite the outrage, Benjamin Netanyahu, who is now leading a far-right government in Tel Aviv, has said that he will, of course, proceed with these controversial judicial changes. So let's take a look at some of the proposed changes. Now, firstly, this would limit the Supreme Court's power to rule against the legislature and even the executive. This effectively means that the Israeli parliament will have the power to override any decision taken by the top court. Secondly, it would also take away the Supreme Court's authority to review the legality of basic laws. Now, these are laws that have formed the constitution of the state of Israel. Thirdly, the reforms also want to change to how the Supreme Court justices will be selected, which means that the executive will now dictate terms on who gets selected on the bench of the Supreme Court. The people, of course, are livid. The Israelis are calling these changes in the judiciary as simply anti-democratic which goes against the principle of the separation of powers. However, Ben Gavir and also Benjamin Netanyahu are pretty adamant that they want to proceed with these judicial changes. In the parliament, the Justice and Law Committee has already given an initial approval. The opposition lawmakers have boycotted this vote. The plan is yet to be written into a law. But just the proposal has, of course, raised a lot of eyebrows domestically and even internationally. The critics say that they undermine judicial independence. The political opposition has sought to slow the process down. They have relied on parliamentary review sessions and have also supported mass demonstrations. Now, even President Isaac Herzog has urged for talks. The polls show that the plan is extremely unpopular with a lot of the Israeli people. But that hasn't done much to dent the government's resolve to push through with these controversial judicial plans. Benjamin Netanyahu is looking likely to win a formal consent for the bills. We are in the grips of a profound disagreement that is tearing. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.